Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a while. I hope you can all forgive me for abandoning you for so long, but I do plan on posting on my channel again more often. That aside, this is today's look that we are creating. So I did post this on my Instagram a few days ago and it was very, very highly requested for a tutorial. The video is a little bit shaky because it's been a while since I sat in front of a camera and done things like this. So please forgive me with that. I will try harder on the next one. But if you would like to see how to create this lovely little look, please keep on watching. Hi, it's been a very long time, but I'm just gonna dive straight in and start this tutorial. So first things first, I'm gonna clip these things back out my way. I don't know what this is, what's happening here. We'll just go with it, we'll go with it. So I'm gonna dive straight in and I'm gonna start with my brows today. So I'm going to take first the Pink Honey Honey Glue and this is in the Style Original Super Hold. This glue is freaking amazing. If you love that fluffy brow look, this glue is definitely the one to go for. So I'm just gonna take my mascara wand and I'm just gonna spray it with just a little bit of water and really work it into that part. I'm gonna start brushing that through my brows. So it just really helps to cement your brows up and it keeps them up all day. Then just to make sure that they stay in place exactly where I want them all day, I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna press over the brow so that really, really sticks them down. So you can see the difference there between glued brow and unglued brow. So once they are all stuck, I like to give my brush a little, another spray with the water and I'm just going to run along the top just to make sure that they're sitting quite nicely and we're not starting to look like a werewolf. To fill through my brows, I'm going to take the Illamasqua Brow Eyebrow Cake and this is in the shade Thunder and I'm going to grab my little water pump again and I'm just going to Give that a spray so it's wet because we want nice defined sharp lines with our brows. This brush part is getting far too full. Like, how are you meant to find anything in there? So I'm just going to take the tips of my brush, this, the, the Zoeva 317 winged liner brush. I'm just going to start creating hair-like strokes throughout my brow. So now that our brows match, I'm going to move on to my eye base and I forgot to mention before, I don't know if you can see, but I've got like a slight pink wing going on my eyelid. That is stainage. Yesterday I created a look using a purple eyeshadow base and it has stained me. So they're not sore, but yeah, that's where I'm at. So for my eyeshadow base today, I'm going to take the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade number two rumor and i'm just going to take my molly o'brien gym bob brush which is this flat concealer brush and then i'm just dragging it down all over my lid pink stains be gone i'm not worried about bringing it too far out this time because we are doing a more rounded look so now that the whole lid is covered. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Peaches and Cream PC10. And I'm first just going to blend off these edges. Then I'm just going to use the same brush to pat over the lid. Just to set that base down ready for our eyeshadows. And this also eliminates any brush strokes, anything like that. Just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Now it is time for our eyeshadows. So I'm gonna keep it a bit neutral today. So I'm gonna take the P. Louise Secret Sinner eyeshadow palette and I'm going to start off with the darkest brown in the palette which is the shade called Love Struck. So I'm just gonna grab a Morphe M507 brush which is this little teeny weeny tiny blender. Pack on our darkest shade right in that crease. And then on this inner corner, I'm not taking it the whole way down, I'm just taking it about three quarters of the way across and stopping there. 
So now that both eyes kind of match, like I swear I've got one bigger than the other, I'm just going to take the exact same brush and a little bit of kitchen roll and I'm just going to wipe off all the excess product off my brush and I'm going to use window wiper motions now along the top edge just to blend it out. So now I'm gonna move on to our next lighter shade and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the shade Obsession from the same P. Louise palette. And I've got a clean M507. I'm gonna repeat the exact same thing I've just done with the darker colour. So I'm just building this up around that darker brown. So now that I'm starting to look like a Disney villain, I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna wipe off all the excess product and just blend that edge. So the third and final colour I'm going to use is the shade Fling, still from that same P. Louise palette. And I'm going to use a Zoeva 224 and I'm just going to start blending that around the very outer edge. So just to make sure that outer edge is completely blended, I'm going to take a 227 from Zoeva and just really blend over that edge. So now that them colours are on, I'm going to go back in with my darker shades and just rebuild them up and build up some intensity again. Now it is time for us to cut our crease. So cut creases can be quite intimidating. Whenever I teach students and we do a cut crease, everyone gets very like twitchy, which I get it. Like you've got to be precise. Try not to get too worried about it. They are quite simple once you get the hang of them. So the first thing I'm going to do, so obviously if you've seen the photo, if not, I'll pop it here. We've got a light lid. So what I'm going to do, because this eyeshadow is all dark, I'm going to wipe it away first. I'm going to take a cotton bud and a bit of micellar water. I'm just going to do a rough crease cut with this. So this helps so that when you put your concealer on your lid, it's all smooth and it's a nice colour rather than it'll pick up your darker shades. So if I was doing like a darker lid or even like a pigment lid or a glitter lid or something like that, I wouldn't really bother with this stage because it's going to get covered. Just roughly like that. So I'm going to grab our first brush that we used, the Molly O'Brien Gym Bob, and I'll just give it a little wipe over with a face wipe just to get rid of that initial product and just to reflatten it down. And to cut our crease, I'm going to take the P. Louise and Mitchell collaboration, the Acid Rain paint, and this is in the shade Blank Canvas. So I'm going to take a little, little amount on my brush and I'm focusing it more on the tips of the brush. I'm just going to follow that line I've set out with my, where I've wiped with my cotton bud. So I like to use the tip of the brush to stamp along the crease, first of all, to help create that shape. And obviously because the brush is rounded, it'll just help you so much. And then I just like to go back in and make sure those lines are joined nice and sharply. And then just pat it over the lid. And then I just like to pat over this outer corner with my finger just to soften it. And then we're going to grab our darkest brown shade and just pat over that inner corner to help blend it. I do like to bring this along the lash line slightly so that it comes a bit more angular. And then just to set down the lid, I'm going to dip into the original P. Louise palette and I'm going to take that shade Trippin', which is like a nice matte nude. But to make sure that our lid is nice and smooth, we don't want any lumps in our concealer before we set it. I'm just going to take a little fluffy brush and I'm just going to pat over that crease. Then I'm going to try to not look up. I'm going to grab the Molly O'Brien Emily brush and go in with that nude shade. And just pack that all over that concealed area. So I have got quite wrinkly eyelids as a lady reaching a certain age. So mine does wrinkle quite a bit once it's dried down, but that's fine. 
we're gonna add some glitter. So I'm gonna take a little mix of some chunky gold glitters. So I'm gonna take a little mix of these three chunky glitters. Now these are from a brand called Unicorn Food Glitter, but they've recently rebranded to Prescription Cosmetics. So I don't know what the names of these are gonna be, but they were called Cookie Glow, Angel Cake and Hot Cocoa. So they may be around somewhere. So I'm just gonna take a little mixture of the three of them. So I'm going to use the Peaches and Cream Glitter Base and I'm just going to get that on with a Zoeva 234. So I'm following the same angle up and then I'm just going to pick the glitter up with my finger and stick it on. So I'm just going to dot about some of the Duo Glue just because it can hold the larger sort of chunks of glitter a little bit better than the peaches glitter base same again i'm just going to grab my finger and just pop that down on top of that glue and we've got this nice transition of glitter now between our matte shades and our lid shade so my camera battery is about to die so i'm going to go ahead and finish this complete eye off camera and come back and we'll go through the rest of everything i'm back that was very annoying, but as you can see, I've managed to finish this whole eye and I might have managed to eat a piece of cheesecake as well. So I'm going to finish this side for you all to actually see. I'm just going to prime my under eye using a concealer. So I'm going to use the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer and this is in the shade number 7 Custard. I'm just going to blob a little smidge on my under eye and blend that in with a fluffy brush. So I'm just going to start grabbing my same eyeshadows that I used on the top of the eye and I'm just going to start with my darkest on a Morphe M213 brush and just and then I'm going to blend that out using our middle shade which was Obsession and then finally I'm going to grab Fling on my M507 and just use that around the outer edge and now the sun's going to start coming out and messing with me lighting. This is just not meant to be, guys. I'm trying hard. I'm trying a lot. I'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil now. And this is the Bold Waterproof Eyeliner from Body M in the shade Black. And I'm just going to run this on my waterline. These pencils are so creamy. Then I'm just going to grab that brush again, the Morphe M213. And I'm just going to lightly blend that outer edge so that it softens into our dark brown nicely final step for my eyes i'm going to pop on some lashes and i'm going to use the blinky boo eyelashes in the style alexa while i wait for that to dry i'm going to pop up pop up i'm going to pop on some mascara and i'm going to use the milk makeup kush mascara in black i got this as like a free sample from sephora when i went to america in january and i'm just obsessed with it to be honest i think i'm gonna buy the full size one because it's just so nice okay and that is it for the eyes that is literally just taking me a good two three hours to get to this point but we're getting there peeps we're getting there so i am gonna go ahead and start my face so to start off with my skin, I'm going to give it a little bit of hydration. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Moisturiser. And this is just in the normal to dry skin one. And just work that in. Then for foundation, I'm actually going to mix two foundations together today. I've just got this brand new Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the shade number... What shade did I get? In 3.5 Fair. But... As you can see, I do have a bit of tan on today, so this is way too light. So I'm just going to mix in a pump of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and this is in the shade Punjab. So I'm just going to take the Zoeva 104 brush. I'm just going to start working that into my skin. So after I've put my foundation on with a brush, I like to grab like a more dense brush. So this is the Molly O'Brien P brush. And I just like to grab a little bit more of my foundation and just pat over. So this sort of acts, it's, it's kind of like a beauty blender where you pat out your creases 
and you pat out any brush marks things like that and just build up a little bit more coverage but i don't really i'm not a massive massive fan of beauty blenders i do have one but i use it mainly for powders rather than creams moving on i'm going to go in with concealer next and i'm going to use the sephora concealer again but this time i'm going to mix a little bit of number three in too i don't know what number three is called fondant just because i think number seven is going to be a little bit too dark for me today yeah so that's sort of matching what color i am so i'm going to pop this down first and then i'll use number three to brighten and i'm just going to use the real technique sculpting brush just to buff that in completely forgot to tell you where i've put it so i've put it under my eyes Keep it about chin, down the bridge of my nose and the centre of my forehead. Then just to get right under the eyes, I'm just going to take any random fluffy eyeshadow brush. This one's from Morphe, but it doesn't have a name. And I'm just going to use that to get right up under that eyeshadow. Then I'm going to grab number three and I'm just going to brighten up slightly just to add a bit more definition. So we are going to do some cream contour today and I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Tantor and this is in the shade Light. This is so nice. I got this recently cause I was watching one of Stacey Marie's uh, lives and she used it and I just think the color and the way it blends is superb. Popping that on around the cheekbone area just with a flat foundation brush this one has no name and then just a little bit along the forehead and then whatever's left around my chin area then i'm going to grab an angled contour brush this is the molly o'brien arabella and i'm going to use that to pat this in and start blending that can see that cream contour out And this is a nice shade because I use the <laughs> exposing myself. I can use this shade when I have not got tan on either. So I look a bit crazy right now. It's unblended. I'm gonna grab my foundation brush again. This is the P brush, and I'm just gonna pat over all them lines and all around that contour just to help blend it. I've really missed doing videos because I actually really enjoy editing. And a lot of people think I'm weird for that, but I do really enjoy it. Then our final cream product, I'm going to use some cream blush. And this is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek. It just says lip and cheek, but I'm going to say lip and cheek tint, whatever. In the shade Wech. I've got to say that with such a Scouse accent. Wech. I just feel like that's how, the way it's written, it's W-E-R-K. I'm just going to get this on the apples of my cheeks and bring it back. I absolutely love blush and I've been using it quite heavily recently and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Taking the Molly O'Brien Daz brush and I'm just going to start patting that out just to help blend it and that'll just blend nicely into our cream contour. Now I'm going to set everything. So I'm going to do a light all over powder and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade number one, Fair. And I'm just going to take a large powder brush. This is the Peaches and Cream PCO4. I'm just going to get a little touch of that and just really lightly pat all over. Second setting powder is I'm going to go with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Pound Cake. My Real Techniques, is this the setting brush? I'm sure it's called the setting brush. I'm just going to pick up some of the powder, but I'm going to knock the majority of it off. And then I'm going to really lightly set under those eyes. I don't want to put too much of this powder on. I don't want to generate any flashback. Or then just through the brow. And then just, I like to get a nice thin layer under my contour. And I'm going to go back in and bake underneath that. So this just sort of adds like a, a more airbrushed quality to your skin. So I'm going to grab my sponge. This is from Morphe. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's the one with the flat top, which is perfect. I'm just going to dip that into the powder. I'm just going to carve out 
right underneath that contour line and bring it towards the corner of my mouth. So we're going to leave that to sit for a few minutes while we finish off our other face powders. So I'm going to start with bronzing. Oh, how scouse was that? Bronzing. And I'm going to take the NARS bronzing powder in the shade Laguna. And I'm going to use a Morphe M405. I'm just going to lightly pat that over that cream contour. Then it's time for our blush. So I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution blush palette and this is in the shade Hot Spice. The Peaches and Cream PC15 which is very similar to the Daz brush we used for the cream and I'm literally just going to dab between them all and just pop that on top. And I also like to run some across the bridge of my nose. So we look nice and sun-kissed. Oh, I look like a Cabbage Patch Kid. It's great. That's enough time for our bake to be on. So I'm just grabbing a big fluffy powder brush and I'm just dusting that away. So moving on to highlighter. This is the Doll Beauty Doll Light Duo and this is in Champagne Supernova. I just like to use a mixture of both shades. So I'm going to use a Buff and Blend BB24 and just dip between the two and start highlighting. Then I always like to keep my blush brush handy and just go back over to make sure we've not lost any of that and just to help make sure everything blends. Same with my bronzer brush, just back over. I'm going to use this to highlight the inner corners as well so I'm just grabbing a little brush. Again, I don't know where this one's from but it's like a pencil brush. I'm just going to pop that on those inner corners to brighten them up. With glam looks like these, I do like the inner corner highlight to match the rest of the face. Just think it ties everything in together really nicely. How are we looking? Are we looking cute? Now, moving on to lips. I'm just gonna give them a quick wipe just to get rid of all that foundation and whatever build up. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Lip Liner Pencil and this is in the shade Sweetheart. This is like the perf my perfect nude. I'm just gonna pop a gloss on over the top of that lip liner and I'm gonna use the Peaches and Cream Lip Gloss in the shade Bambi, which is this really pretty nude. Then I'm just going to finish everything off with a spritz of setting spray. So I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay, and that is today's finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video on my return to YouTube for like the 700th time. It definitely won't be as long until the next video. But if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And while you're down there, you may as well subscribe. Leave me a little comment as well if you enjoyed this video, if you like this look, where would you wear this look for? But thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.